and we are back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my progress that I've made at Town Hall 13 using Queen Charge Lalo. It's getting a little better, still not totally satisfied. So I'll show you the progress. We'll go over a couple of attacks, try to nitpick on some triples where I could have done better. Um, besides that, I'd also wanna to talk to you about the future of my current Town Hall 13s. I do currently have five Town Hall 13s, so I want to talk to you, get your advice, get your opinion, and put it out there to a vote. Well, we'll talk about that during the video. So sit tight, buckle up, stay tuned, and enjoy the show. Okay, so here is my... Uh, tag lag on my d &E account, which is currently my only 13 that I am doing um, Queen Charge Lotto on. Now, before we get into showing you the account, let me tell you what I was looking, what I was looking from you guys for. Um, I have five Town Hall 13s. Three of them I have not been attacking on since you know they were maxed. I had nothing to do on them. So, but now I currently have five Town Hall 13s that I need to farm. I have to get three of them back up to Legends. What I'm asking of you, the viewers, is which strategies would you like me to use on each of the 13s? I'm probably going to go with a different strategy on each of the 13s. Again, three of them are completely maxed before today's update. Today is October 12th. It happens to be my birthday, not my real birthday, my class birthday. Six years ago today, I started my first account. I remember where I was, when I was. I remember starting it. But today is my Clash birthday. Um, so again, I have three accounts that I'm just starting to farm on again. I would like to do, I'm thinking about doing a different strategy on each of them. So make sure to leave me a comment down below what strategy you like and make sure to read the other people's comments to see what they have commented on and whichever strategies gets the most likes will be the ones that I'm going to be working on. Um, so that's that. Now let's get into the, uh, we'll look at two of the attacks and we'll show you exactly what I did right, what I did wrong. First of all, let's pause it for a second and let's talk about what my plan was. The plan was to start my queen out all the way up over here, which is the where I would start her in uh, if I was doing hybrid as well. Uh, I'm gonna use my baby D with a couple of loons over here, and I'm gonna use a couple of minions over here. Minion over here, minion over here. That's gonna make the funnel, and I'm gonna wall break in here, get the queen inside. Now, mistakes that I made on this base that I know of right now from just looking at this replay just before. I dropped my poison too early. A big mistake that people make when they do attacking, no matter what you're, no matter what you're attacking is, always try to keep an eye on what came out of the CC. You do not want to drop your, like in this case, for instance, there was a witch that came out of the CC, there was an ice golem that came out of the CC, a baby dragon, and some other filler in there. Now, my mistake was I dropped my poison spell almost immediately, and I took care of the baby dragon, I took care of the minion and whatever else was there. And when the difficult thing came out, which is the witch, which for me is the most difficult thing, when that witch came out, I didn't have my, my poison spell was gone already. So first bit of advice that I can give you is going to be to always make sure to watch what comes out of the CC and don't drop your poison until the bulk of the CC comes out. So my plan was to get my queen inside here, which I did, uh, poison freeze. Now, my freeze, my freeze was bad. If you notice while I'm doing this attack, there were three things that were going on while I while my queen was being targeted by the single target inferno. I was dropping my king, I was dropping the slammer in, and my queen was being targeted. Um, and then the big mistake that I think I might have made is if you happen to use your queen ability because you didn't get that rage down or that freeze down, whatever it is, don't use three things on it. Don't use a freeze, a rage, and a queen ability. And I think I did that here. I think I used the freeze, which was late. So then I ended up having to use my queen ability. It popped my queen ability. And then after that, I think I used a rage also to get the queen back up. So try not to use all three of them for a single target Inferno. Um, what else? So then once we got that, the queen was going to walk down here. The king was walking on the outside of there. The plan was to drop the slammer. So the slammer I already told you was coming in this way. I dropped the hound in here with two groups of loons, loon, loon, and then another hound over here with three groups of loons. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because on these ring bases, you need to 
cut the ring. This is where I want to cut the ring. So I want these defenses to go down. So this way, when the loons are coming like this, instead of going around that way, they will go straight into the core. And it sort of happened, but not perfectly. You'll watch in the attack, you'll see what happened. The slammer ends up going in, but some of the loons trickle off. It actually worked out very well for me. I used my I used my ability and these loons went through here. But again, my Lalo is not, I'm not really, really thrilled with my Lalo at 13, but the queen charge part of it in association, in you know, with those with those loons, it just makes it so so powerful. It's such a powerful attack that even if you just sort of do okay with a Lalo, you'll be able to get those triples. The important thing is, and this is what Shaves, this is what Shaves told me when I was coming back to Lalo at Town Hall 13. Always focus on your queen charge. Get that queen. The queen will take out so much stuff. Let's zoom in over there. The queen will take out so much stuff that you're not leaving that much for your Lalo to do. So, um, so there's the wall break. Wall break got in. Queen is gonna then turn around and go inside. And as you can see, I have just a partial CC that came out. A minion, an archer, and a baby drag. I did not do the math, and I should have done the math and realized that the uh, <laughs> the hard stuff is coming right after. Ice golem's not really a big deal, but that witch, those witches kill me every single time. Uh, but I dropped in, I dropped in a minion and really it did, it did help out with the, uh, with the queen, with the, uh, with the kill. So now, while I'm dealing with this, what I should have done was, before my queen went any further, I should have dropped the king over there and my slammer over there. To, my slammer would have come in, uh, my queen, my queen, you, you watch, you'll see what happens. My queen is going in and she gets locked on. Let's fast forward a little bit just to get up to the Lalo part. But there's the queen. I used my freeze, had to use an ability, and used a, uh, a rage. So that is no bueno. Here is the Lalo. Let's slow it down a little bit, get it back to regular speed. So as you can see, I'm freezing, I'm freezing the scatter shot, getting those troops inside. Then I use the haste, a little bit late on the haste. Now, I wanted them to move in like that, but for some reason, those a couple of, I don't know why those loons went path that way. I think that everything in the core was much, much closer, but it is what it is. And, uh, you know, it didn't have a lot of loons left over. I had three, lo three loons left over for the back end. Still had the royal champ uh, that's going around with the troops. Still had the queen. Still had the king. Uh, king still has an ability. I think he stole the healer somehow. But that's it. Let's fast forward through this one. Watch the next one. See where we can see what I did right, what I did wrong what I didn't, what I don't like about the attack, and what I do like about the attack. This attack, I would rate this attack probably maybe a seven. My Lalo is a seven, the Queen Charge was okay. Maybe the Queen Charge was also a seven because that messed up messed up rage and freeze and poison. But uh, let's move on to another one. Okay, so for the next attack, we are gonna show this base over here. This base, again, it's so strange after using hybrid for so long and seeing these bases, and now seeing these bases again, and doing Lalo, it's so strange having to retrain my brain of where to come in, where to go in, where where I shouldn't be going in. I mean, if I was doing if I was doing hybrid, I would have come in with my queen this way. But now that I'm doing queen charge Lalo, I'm coming in this way. So let's talk about this base again. I'm a little disappointed with myself. I know this base. I know the Teslas are over there, are down on the bottom. Two Teslas are on the bottom. I know that there's little little uh, teeny bombs, you know, right here on each of these corners over here. But yet, it's like I took the attack and I totally forgot what was going on. So I messed up the beginning. I ended up again, like not what I said before. I ended up using a, a rage and an ability in the same spot, which is always a no-no. I should have just used the rage and saved the ability, but I was late with the rage. So always, always anticipate. Make sure. See, there was a lot of things going on down on the bottom, and I didn't get that rage down. So you always got to prioritize. Well, which one's the important thing? Do I need to get the Do I need to get the the rage before the, the healers, and or or the rage after the healers? So you have to really, really work on it, and you'll get this timing down through farming. I really, really, everybody should be farming with the army that they want to use for wars. But let's uh, let's go into this attack and let's talk about what the plan was. Plan was to bring the queen up right through here like this. Uh, the plan was to use my king over here to just, just you know, get rid of some garbage over there, maybe tank for some loons. Uh, bring in a hound like this with two groups of loons this way. Uh, bring in a hound like this with a slammer coming in this way. And then, then loons, loons, 
lose. That was the plan. Uh, it worked out pretty well. I mean, the Lalo, again, I eat through this one. I'm still not thrilled with my Lalo with Town Hall 13. There's just a lot of stuff going on. For all those of you Town Hall 13s who are looking to do Lalo now, if you have a lower account, practice it there first. If you practice it there, at least you'll be able to build up your Lalo skills, get the confidence that you need to be able to triple the Town Hall 13. So do that. But let's look at this attack now. Clear all the squigglies and watch the attack and uh, see exactly, see if we can notice where else I messed up. So we started with the queen down on the bottom. Started with the queen down on the bottom. Where are you, queenie queen? Where are you, queenie queen? There's my girl. Drop the queen down, drop the Coco Loon, drop the healers, and I did not have the rage. And I should have put the rage down. If I would have put the rage down, and I shouldn't have, I didn't use a test wall breaker. So now my queen had gotten all the way down to, to low health. So I had to use, besides her ability, I used the rage also. I'm not sure if I, I could have probably held the rage off for another second or two until I got into the town hall. But now the queen is working through there. She's going to lure out the CC. Uh, I'm going to drop... I'm going to drop a Coco Loon with a Baby D. That's going to take out that cannon over there and start clearing away a little couple more structures uh, just to make it easier. Maybe taint those loons a little bit. Queen is moving in. This guy also on this base, he put a multi over there. So I was thrilled to see that multi. There is the first Queen Lures the CC. Now I can drop my Lalo in. The, uh, the Hound and Loons are in with a Haste Spell to get it in there. From the top, I dropped the, I dropped the uh, Stone Slammer. With the with the hound over there to tank the to tank the loons coming in, drop my drop my royal champ up there as well with that hound, and now the royal champ is moving through, trying to get the royal champ to get down towards that scatter shot. I probably didn't need the freeze over there. The scatter shot only had like one little tip left on it, and the loons were already right on top of it. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, I don't have a lot of loons left over. I'm holding on to five, which I just dropped those loons right now. Uh, queen is breaking through. I should have anticipated. I should have saved one loon and did a wall break down there to see if I can get the queen in. But she probably couldn't have gotten in anyway. There's too much trash over there for this queen. So the queen dies through. And we drop all the minions. Another thing is, if you notice all those minions, I dropped them down at 9 o'clock. And Shaves, once again, Shaves is telling me, do not drop all your minions down. And I don't understand why I shouldn't be dropping all my minions. Let them start cleaning all that stuff up and then move everything up to the top. But that's it. That's the attack. That's the progress that I'm making. Still not, still not, mm, I'm never going to use the word perfect. Still not really 100% happy with this, but I am getting a little bit better every single day. So my, my uh, advice to you is don't give up. Stick with it. Keep on going, keep on trying, and you will eventually get those triples and feel so confident that you can just boom, 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 just knock them out. It, it takes time. It does take time. But that's going to be it. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, hit that sub button. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, well, leave me a comment down below. But like the video anyway, and then hopefully I can fix it for you on the next one. But that's going to be it. Until the next video, have a great day.